Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Knocked away with the stick by Byron. Quick pass to Champion. Makes a move and touch! Scores! And quick as a hiccup they are on the board here in this one. Well, that's a dream start, James, and it's one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get in front, and you want to dictate pace. He gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the, the eyes of the tender, this is exactly what can happen. The Wild have got on the board incredibly quick to start this one. Can't get a better start than that, James, and really the execution, they get that first chance on goal, and they put it away. And it's a quick pass to Silverberg. Who's the puck? McCarr's got it on the offensive end. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Absolutely levels him! He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. And he's ridden off the puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Lekkonen's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. The Wild have the puck on the attack. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Nolan's got it into offensive territory. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Uses the force on that hit. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. And he slides it quickly to Landeskog. The Wild have the puck against the Wolves. Not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. With the stop. Grabs the puck in the slot. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. They score! Jumping at the bit, now they've got their opponent on their heels. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. He's gonna get an apple on this play here, James, but I think he created it from start to finish. I mean, to be able to drive the lane, have the presence of mind of where that player, the coverage is on you and shield it appropriately to be able to get that pass across, unbelievable play. Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Musa quickly over to LeBanc. The Avs looking against the half wall. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Here's a chance on the attack. Oh, scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James, and you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. Minnesota's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Quick stop! Answers the call big time! What a stop by Dubnik! The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. And look at this, they've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Cutting to the crease. Looking for options, moves it around. Oh, big hit on the play. Minnesota's crossed the line and on the attack. Grabs the puck. Scooped into the trapper by Patera. The Avs play it along the boards. Fires it. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Here's a short pass to Pominville. Here we go, odd man rush. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Great read on the block. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Yeah, 
Mavs have had a really poor start to their season, James, and now they're at the midpoint, and they kind of got to reflect on it and take some teachable moments out of it, but they got to move forward. They got to dig in. They got to kick in their heels, and that might mean some decisions being made by management and the coaching staff. Good check. Freeze the puck up. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Now a quick pass to Lekanen. Rocks him on the play. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Moves it to Burns. Dishes it to Pominville. Handles the puck in the corner. What the stop. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Blocked in front. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Silverberg. Looking to make something happen along the boards. A chance in front! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Patera! Minnesota's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Quick pass to Silverberg. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Avs played along the wing. Nowhere for that shot to go through. That's a textbook save by Dudnik. Minnesota's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Takes the pass. The Avs take possession in the defensive end. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Champion's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Past the midway mark in this period, Minnesota's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Great glove save! Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes into the back of the net, but I think they're going to call this off as the play was blown dead beforehand. Minnesota's offense is shining bright tonight. Everything they put on net seems to find the back of it, and they lead it late in the first. Koivu has won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. And he shut the door on that last play. Minnesota's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. From the point, they take control of it. Shot! Denies him with the save! Can't get a hold of that pass. And now he moves it to Kane. Can't maintain possession after that hit. The Avs take it along the wall. Reaches out and uses the stick. Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. With some open space at center. And he takes the feed. Gives him nothing in front. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. Late goings of this period, it has been a one-sided affair. Three-nothing is where we sit. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. He got all of that one. Feeds it across. Makes the save. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. All alone. Oh, denies him on the 
play. Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Puck scooped up by Rantanen. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And that one's turned away. And now he passes up to McKinnon. Passes it in front. And that chance is blocked. Back to the blue line. Minnesota's playing it through center. shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Minnesota's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Fans, don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six-game ticket packets today. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Here we go. Lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Avs' performance was abysmal in that opening 20 minutes, James. They didn't do anything right. It looked like a lack of preparation. And often that isn't just the coaches. That's the mindset of the players going in. I'm not sure what it was, but they're going to have to change it in the second period. This one was embarrassing. Back to the oh! toes. Sorry, James. Didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Champions cut it against the boards. Goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. The Avs played along the boards. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Good hit on the play. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Into the attacking end. Shot! Oh, what a stop on the play! Gets all of it with the paddle. Patera's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Takes a shot! Turned aside with the glove by Patera. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. The Avalanche have the puck at their own end. And he handles the cross ice pass. Passes on over to Colton. On the attack along the boards. Good use of the body on the play. Referee singles penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. You got to find a way to just reset your composure. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Turns him away! Moves it quickly over to Champion. Oh, he hammered him on 
the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Slides the pass over to Champion. Oh, and here's the pass. Fires it on net. Oh, what a save with the club by Patera. Colton's side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Minnesota's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Patera's gonna hang on for a whistle. Granlin set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. That's blocked! time here in the second and they win the draw here in their own end the avalanche have gained possession off the wall monster save by Dubnik we got a whistle as the puck's frozen Minnesota's lead here in the second period a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively and off the draw they'll take possession Kane's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, Smart has a play to put that one away. Gets it over to Colton. Slides the puck ahead to the bank. From off the wall and onto his stick. Moves it to Byron. Rocks him on the play. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south. Here we go, Cheryl. They're going to go. No one can take liberties with your star players. You have to protect them. And when you send an enforcer out there, you're sending a message not only to the team you're playing now, but the teams you're going to play in the future. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. Both benches showing respect for each of their players that are heading over to the penalty box. That was a tough one. It's purely exhausting to be in a fight like this, and they're just corralling their stuff and getting back to the box. Well, this game has new life breathed into this building tonight after what we just saw moments ago but we still got a game to play. 
back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Henrique. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a shot. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Pass in front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Slides the puck across to Nichuskin. Oh, just a textbook hit. Makes it look easy with the stop. Here's a blast. Shuts the door with a great save. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines. And this goaltender, who does a great job of making it happen. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Loose puck battle along the boards. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Scoops up the puck now. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Brings the ball off the post. Minnesota's coaches will be happy with this game so far, James. They're generating a lot of shots. They're in the lead. Yeah, they've run them off the post a number of times, but you got to expect when you have possession and you're driving the net, you're going to get another one. Oh, spectacular save on the play. Quick feed to Michael. to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Byram's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We've just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well liked too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Picked off by Rantanen. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Champions got the puck through the neutral zone. Takes the puck. Pickard's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Minnesota's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Michaels won the draw. Easily turned away by the glove. 
And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Minnesota's got the lead early in the third period. They have been the far busier team offensively tonight. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Oh, what a stop with the paddle! This is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Hawk possession, so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. McKinnon's won the draw here in the defensive zone. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Champion. He carries the puck up along the wing. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Puck moved over to Gerard. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. The Avs gain control of the puck. Minnesota's got it now. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come. The Wild have possession along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. He got all of that hit. They've got some momentum here. Johansson's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Quick feed to Landeskog. Well saved made by Dubnik. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. And he slides it quickly to Heatley. Granlin's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. Minnesota's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Colorado's got in the offensive zone. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. The reason why he can get square to it and make the save. There's the whistle as the net comes off. Minnesota's got the edge of the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Colorado's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Grabs the puck. And now he tries to get it across to the bank. The Avs carried along the wall. Denied by Dubnik. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Champion. Slides the puck across to Silverberg. Moves it over to Champion. Picked off in the open ice. Pass across to Nichuskin. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Thunderous collision in the corner. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. They've got the defense outnumbered. Minnesota's got the puck against the wall. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Denies him in front. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Here's a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Here's a howitzer. He scores. That's Miko Rantanen. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. Colorado's 
got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Takes a shot. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. And it's a quick pass to Lycanen. Here's a chance. Scores! We'll get those rally caps on. Now everyone's going to need to have one on. It's going to be a team collective contribution if they want to get back in this one. When it all starts with one goal, if they can clear it, find a way to get another one quickly, you never know. Certainly down, but not out completely yet. Uh, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. McKinnon's won the draw here in the neutral zone. There's another hit on the play. He's going to feel terrible tomorrow, James. Over and over again, he's been caught. Quick pass across to Dillon. Scores! And look at this! Suddenly, they're right back into it. I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity and get them within two. And this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game. If they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. The Avs don't have time on their side, but they're starting to stretch back. They're scratching back, they're clawing back, but they're going to have to take some offensive chances. D are going to have to start jumping in, opening up lanes, and creating odd man rushes. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle, and that's intercepted. Johansson's got it across the line. Denied by the goaltender. Score! in their own end. Here's a short pass to Colby. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. Stops that one. Nice. And he makes that save as well. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Sends one up to Nolan. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Oh, and makes a save just got enough to keep it out. Granlin's carrying it ahead. Colorado's looking to break out. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. There's a firm collision. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Slides the puck to Henrique. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Off the try, nice job locking up his opponent. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. What a steal on his own end. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Michaels taking it from his own end. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. 
And Ross made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. And somehow he hangs on. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Silverberg's got it in the defensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. Minnesota's top line is going to come on the ice, and there's no coaching decision to be made here. I mean, they've been so effective. They contributed, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. I get when you're losing, James, that you want to get something going. You want to spark your team. You have the puck on your stick, but sometimes you can try and do too much, and I think that's a product of that as he loses the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Minnesota's got the puck. Colorado's emptied the net and into the wide-open cage. It's an empty net goal. Uh, and a sigh of relief as well as it's a real insurance mark. You, you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. Man, he's got such amazing hands here, James, and he's known for it, but he's almost looking at their feet, knowing which way their toes are turning, and he's going the other way. Just beautiful play here to be able to create this goal. The centermen glide into position. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Kane. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Odd man rush. Colorado's goal is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. They've got the extra attacker out here for the face-off. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. To the empty net. Doesn't go. Quick pass to Dillon. Penalty coming up. Quick shot. Oh, and the buzzer a big save. There's the final horn and that'll do it here this evening. Well, after this one, partner, can we call this a heater now? We can call it a heater, and any time you're in the win column multiple games in a row, James, you know that everyone is feeling it. They're calling it a heater as well. Why? They're putting pucks in the net. No matter what they do, they're getting puck luck as well. Hope you had as much fun as we did bringing you the action here from all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. Peace.